Now here is the Duo beside a larger phone. This is my LG V60 without a case. This is pretty much akin to your Note 20 Ultras and all of that, your iPhone e 11 Max and such. So if you are going from one of those larger phones to a Duo, this is the size difference you'll have to take into consideration. These larger phones are considerably taller than the Duo, especially if you look at the bomb here, it's not even flush in the holster because of the way uh, the charging port is set up. But there is a significant height difference. But to compensate for that, there's also a significant width difference as well. The Duo is, I won't say a lot wider, but there is a nice difference in width between the Duo and these lar 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 larger phones. The V60 is, I think, a 6.7 or 6.8 inch uh, screen. The Duo, I don't remember the, the, the dimension exactly. 6. Point, was it 5.7, 5.8, or it's like five? High fives or low sixes. I don't even pretend like I remember the exact numbers because I, 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 I because I don't. But this is the, the difference in sizes between the common larger phones and the Duo. So if you're going from something, like I said, the Ultras or the Maxes of a particular brand to the Duo, this is the adjustment you will have to make in your uh, screen size and how exactly you hold the device. So, to do a comparison, I have here my V60. Normally during the, cam the camera work, today we just want to see how it holds up to the new kid on the block in at least the dimensions and some functionality. So first thing, let's just see how it looks side by side. Sorry if I can't get a better angle. The Pixel 3 doesn't really have a wide angle for its shots. But that's how they look side by side. Now, if we do them like this, you, you, you can see, at least in the case, the Duo is a lot thinner than the V60 with this dual screen case on. And this is the entire dual screens. At the top, again, it's just a much thinner device. Wider, but thinner. The side again, You can see it for yourself. The Duo is a pretty thin device. This little bump here kind of makes it look thicker than it is, but not by much, no, only by a little. As you see here, it's not really that thick at all. Now, one of the perks of having a V60 with, with a dual screen is you can take off the dual screen and just be left with a regular phone. Easy process. Here we have my V60 by itself. It, 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 it was doing some camera work, not now. And let's see, even with the case off, the Duo is not much thicker than the V60, even with the case off. That's going to show how thin of a device this is. Now, I really hate this bumper being on it, but it, it kind of hides the thinness of the Duo. But even when you op open said the, the, the Duo, to allow you to see it in its open state, it's not Actually, it's thinner than the entire phone. The, the Duo is thinner than the V60 when open. That is saying a lot, because this isn't par a particularly thick phone, but not par particularly thin either.
Now, as far as functionality goes, let me put this guy back in his case. As far as as far as functionality between the two the devices go, as you can see, we have one screen here, we have two screens there. But you can turn on the this other screen, and you get a very similar use case. This one is significantly wider. This one more narrow and more long. Now both of them pretty much do the same thing if you allow them to. For example, when you pick up the Duo here, I'll use the Duo Pencil, you can open up an app in either screen. Here we have the texting app. I think they're not very flat to save its life. And, and on my V60, we have our texting app. Now, let's go back here. Well, whatever. Both of them have these things here. One screen on texting. And let's just, have to go to the start, start chat. The start the chat, okay. One screen on the text menu. One screen completely open. Now, both of them, you can open anything else on this screen. Let's go here into the gallery. Gallery open on one, texting on the other. You see, can we do something similar here? I'm not sure where the gallery is on this one, so I'll, I'll just open the camera app and go into the gallery. Go ahead and take a picture first. All right. Okay, so as you can see, both screens, or both phones, can do sim similar features. This depends on how much you want to spend and what exactly you want to do and how you go about doing it. Let's say you want to have this go to both screens, you open and over, and there you, you have both screens being able to text, and with a quick turn, you have a more convenient texting option. Now with the V60 here, just like with this here, you can actually go into both screens if you wanted to, dual keyboards. and have the same very convenient texting option. Okay, some might prefer this keyboard, this one because you have the space so it's easier for your thumbs to get to where they have to go, as opposed to it all being in one area. But to each their own, it depends on how you like to use your uh, device. Now, like I said, the main thing with these phones is multi-tasking, but they do have their own little laptop configuration to make it easier for the user, whoever that may be, do what they want to actually do. How do I get out of this? I'm not, I am no pro with this thing yet. Yet. There we go. All right. So here you see I have one thing about the duo though. This one you can have your home screen turn landscape. This one there is no landscape mode when you're on the the home screen. I can't switch it over just so you have a better uh, ideas. Uh, swap screens. Boom. So you see, see, like with that, I am mean, just maybe a still. Uh, I did some video of the, a lot of the video, uh, actually. Still, still, home, home. This one you can change the home, this one you cannot change the home. But you can, like I said, run something completely different up here if you wanted to. So let's say we want to run I don't know. Writing app. Okay. Writing app. Per personally, I would swap those because I like to write on the bottom screen. Um, swap screens. But as you said, you have what you're looking through up here. Swipe through your gallery. This one, let's say you go into 
the writing app, which would be OneNote. But I can't sign in. Now, I'm not sure there is an easy way to swap from screen to screen. I know if I do that and go up here, you, you get that. And if I do this, I'm not sure exactly how you how you just swap it over. I'm not sure. Oh, you just do do I just swipe it down? Okay. Uh, I I can see that. And you have your gallery up here. Everyone that have it, right? It doesn't want to read my fingerprint with that thumb. So the question to most would be um, Let's sync it back to this. There, we're synced again. The question to most would be what is the big difference between the Duo and something like the V60? Both take pen inputs. Both of these pens will work on any surface, as in surface com computer, these guys o over here. Service pen detected, so because it was close to the X, it, it, it synced back back with with the X. It, it really comes down to what you want to do, because as it stands, both of these, the V60 and the Service Duo, can do pretty much the same thing. Let's close this out. Uh, whatever. Both of them can do the pretty much the same thing, but one just does it with more style, and not this. I hate this. It's like this finger never wants to read for me. I don't know. One does it with more style and a finesse, as opposed to the other being much more big and bulky, but it works. Press this, boom. Wait, let me go back that way, back. Alright. So, as you see, the Duo is just prettier. But this works fine. And, like, with if this was on Duo, you could play a movie on each screen, gallery on each screen, text on whatever, whatever screen, your email, whatever. It all works just fine. But the duo is more sleek when closed. That's what you're getting for your 1400 bucks. This is, like I say, a pro productivity device. It's a bridge. It's a secondary. Not even. It's a companion device. Whereas it has all these little multitasking features right along the lines of the V60 here. The V60 itself is the more complete device. You have your camera with your wide angle and your clothes. You have your uh, I, IP, your, your IP rating. You have your headphone jack. You have your bottom and top firing speakers which are, which are pretty loud. You have all the multitasking features that the Duo has. Every single one of them. You can still sign into your Microsoft accounts and everything else. But you don't have the sleekness. You don't have the fut fut futuristic design of the Service Duo. So if you are just going for the use case, you could save yourself a, a, a good 700 bucks go for one of LG's offerings, whether it be the V60 like I have, the Velvet, uh, the G8X, the V50, 
they, they all have this case and the case just keeps getting better and better with every iteration so if it's the functionality that you are looking for one of LG's phones might be the better way to go to save some cash things are hard but if it's not so much the complete phone functionality that you want it's more of the companion device something quick to pull out that's you that's unique in its look in its shape in its exa execution this is what you go with this is a luxury device a complete and other luxury mini digital book that happens to make phone calls that's closed it is extremely pretty open it's pretty fold it over it's pretty i guess both phones can fold over in case you didn't know and put that down right there this can indeed fold over just like the duo so again it's not about function functionality it's more about the individual user and what exactly he's trying to do and say with the device that he is using at that time this companion this complete full mobile device package this can do it but maybe shouldn't do all of the, those phone functions because as far as specs go the specs are your thing it, it, this, these are last year's specs and, and even then it's, it's not all of last year's specs like I said it's missing the waterproofing it's missing the NFC it's missing uh, another camera on the outside it's missing the headphone jack it's missing a lot of little things that make it when compared to other phones a lesser device this is a much more current phone Snapdragon 86865 it has your 5G all the ratings all the IP everything you want works with every, 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 every pen takes notes it's just a uh, and headphone jack again with a 32-bit DAC for superior audio this is really is a no compromise device so which one should you get again depends on who you are if you already have the no com no compromise or few compromise devices that you are happy with that gets the main jobs done you go with that not that you need it but because you want it and it will fit your workflow if you do not have the device that does everything you might want to think about getting that because though this can be your daily driver you might not want it to be your daily driver so with that said well this is ng the neon x and foldables especially the Surface Duo, this is what I'm into.